As we continue our thankful series tonight, we tell the story of strength and perseverance. As Shishino O. Farquharson reports, despite all odds, Ruth Ann Newton Lightborn shares why she is thankful for life. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round. She doesn't consider herself handicapped, just a strong woman who happens to be in a wheelchair. As Ruth Ann Newton Lightborn shares her story, you will quickly realize that it is one of perseverance, great faith, and thanksgiving. Ruth Ann Newton Lightborn always wears a beautiful smile on her face. This mother of six says in 2015, her life changed as she was misdiagnosed two times before the proper diagnosis came, which is neuromyelitis optica. It messes with all my muscle strength, so I'm not able to stand or walk. So my, my muscle strength just goes, and then I have to start again. Um, then it also messes with your eyes, so technically I, I can't see through my left eye. I've lost sight in my left eye completely because of it. Uh, and then my hands are messed up, you know, they're not the way they should be. I had to learn to, to, because I do graphics, I had to learn to use my left hand because I can't write with my right hand anymore. But never would she imagine that in 2019, she would find herself fighting for life when her neighborhood heritage began flooding and she was forced to evacuate. She says her family called the fire station and they rushed to assist. But she'll never forget the feeling of leaving others behind. Um, the bus filled up immediately and at one point we suddenly saw a fridge being pushed across the water and when you look there was an elderly gentleman in the fridge because he was home homebound like myself and so they couldn't carry him so they had found a fridge and they put him in the fridge and they had pushed him from the back of Her um, Heritage and pushed him up over across and he couldn't walk at all. The bus was already full so we reversed out um, to Fairfield and at that time you saw people walking out of Heritage and so it felt really horrible because we were being saved and then people we couldn't take any more people so you know the bus driver just kept on saying to everybody um, we're coming back but get this Ruth Ann says she was taken to her children and then there they had to evacuate once again and as if this wasn't enough, she says she would also experience the pain of losing one of her best friends to circumstances surrounding Hurricane Dorian. Yet, she remains thankful for life. One of my best friends, my um, nephew's mother, she died on September 3rd. A lot of people knew her, Anara Camp. Um, she was my best friend. So I'm thankful that I'm still here. I'm thankful that I'm here for my 11-year-old son, even though I sometimes feel inadequate because I'm like this, and I can't give him the attention that I gave the other five. I'm thankful for my mom because she's never left my side after I went into a coma in 2017. Like I say, this is not my test. I think this is a test for others. It's a test to see who people are during my test. Now, despite going through her own personal challenges, Ruth Ann continues to be an inspiration for many as a mindset reset coach and a transformational motivational speaker. She wants to remind everyone that regardless of what you are going through, you must always be thankful for life. Shishina Wolf-Arkison, ZNS Network News.